Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Shagorn. Ang topic natin ngayon sa ating video is yung kung paano mag-solve ng quadratic equations by factoring. So, I have here five examples para i-solve natin gamit ang factoring. So, let's start with the example number one. We have here x squared minus 49 is equal to zero. We can use difference of two squares in solving this quadratic equation. So, Mag-prepare lang tayo yung dalawang parenthesis. And then we have x minus 7, x plus 7. Again, review lang natin para natin nakuha yung factors na yan. Since ito ay kapattern ng difference of two squares, you need to get the square root of the first term. X, square root of x squared is equal to x. So, sulit nyo na sa first terms. And then the square root of 49 is 7. Since negative sign nasa gitna natin, you will use negative or negative and positive. Or pwede rin naman, pwede rin naman tumaging, pwede sa lang palit ng sign. Pwede itong yung positive, pwede itong negative. So, continue natin. To solve for the value of x, we need to use the zero product property. So, this will become x minus 7, equate natin both, both factor by 0. And then the other one is x plus 7 is equal to 0. To solve for the value of x, mag-add lang tayo dito ng 7. Mag-add tayo ng 7 dito. So, x is equal to 7. And the other value of x, to solve for the value of x, mag-subtract lang tayo ng 7 dito. At dito rin. So, this is x is equal to negative 7. Therefore, the values of x are 7 and negative 7. Now, let's move on to item number 2. Sa number 2 naman natin, we have the coefficient of the first term, which is greater than 0, a greater than 1. Pero, pwede pa rin natin gamitin yung pattern ng difference of two squares. So, prepare muna tayong dalawang parenthesis. And then, get the square root of 9x squared, and that is 3x. The square root of 64, which is 8. And then, gamit tayo ng positive, negative. Again, using zero product property, we need to equate both factors by 0. That is 3x plus 8 is equal to 0. And the other is... 3x minus 8 is equal to 0. To solve for the value of x, since ito ay positive, mag-minus tayo rito ng 8 at minus 8 tayo, tayo rito. That is, 3x is equal to negative 8. And then, to simplify, or to find the value of x, divide both sides of the equation by 3. x is equal to negative 8 over 3. This is the first value of x. Para naman sa second value ng x na meron tayo, since ito yung negative, additive inverse niya, mag-add tayo ng 8 plus 8. So we have 3x is equal to 8. And dividing both sides of the equation by 3, your x is equal to 8 over 3. Now for item number 2, the values of x are negative 8 over 3 and 8 over 3. So, I hope na nakuha nyo na yung pattern or yung process natin on how to solve quadratic equations by factoring. Let's continue with example number 3 and example number 4 together with example number 5. So, in, that, in our example number 3, we have your tri trinomial. So, paano ba ginagawa yan? Para masolve natin yan, since yung ating first term, ang kanyang coefficient is... 1, automatic, the factors of the first term is x. Sunod, we need to think of the factors of 15, wherein, of negative 15, wherein kapag inad natin, the answer is negative 2. So, na mga possible factors? So, this na lang natin. Since this is negative, 
isipin natin ngayon, dapat yung signs ng factors natin ay magkaiba. One is negative and the other is positive. So, factors ng 15 ay 5 times negative 3. So, ano pa ba? Ah, oh, dito pa lang. Meron na tayo. 5 times negative 3. That is negative 15. At kapag in mo yung 5 and negative 3, ay hindi pa pala pwede. That is positive 2. So, since positive 2 yun, ang gawin na natin, mag natin yung sign ng 5, which is negative 5 times 3. Negative 5 times 3, that is negative 15, and negative 5 plus 3, that will give you negative 2x. So, we will use minus 5, and then plus 3 is equal to 0. And equate natin yung ating factors by 0. x minus 5 is equal to 0. And the other is x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, mag lang tayo both sides by 5. Your first x, or the first value of x is 5. And dito naman sa right side, mag-subtract lang tayo ng 3. So, the second value of x is equal to negative 3. These are the values of x, for example, number 3. Now, let's move on with number 4. So, dito, kung mapansin nyo, hindi siya naka-standard form. So, before natin i-perform yung factoring, you need to rewrite the equation or your quadratic equation sa standard form. Ang standard form natin, reveal natin, that is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Dapat ganyan yung kanyang ano, formation. So, we have here x squared minus 9x plus 14 is equal to 0. So, as you can see, yung ating first term, ang kanyang coefficient is 1. So, same pattern, mag-prepare lang ng parentheses. We have your x and x. So, ang kailangan natin i-figure out dito, ano yung mga numbers na dapat natin ilagay? So, we need to think of the factors of 14 in which, kapag in natin, the answer is negative. Since yung ating 14 is positive at yung ating 9 is negative, dapat parehas negative yung factors ng 14 natin. So, try natin yung ano. 14... Negative 14 times negative 1, that is equal to negative 15. Negative, negative 2 times negative 7, pag inad nyo, that is negative 9. Therefore, we will be using negative 7 and negative 2. So, mayroon tayo ngayon itong x minus 7, and then times x minus 2. So, same thing, equate natin yung ating factors by 0, x minus 7 is equal to 0 and the other is x minus 2 is equal to 0 so to solve for the value of x plus 7 lang your x is equal to 7 and for the other value of x mag add lang tayo ng 2 since negative yan plus 2 so the second value of x is equal to 2 so for the fourth example the roots or the values of x are 7 and 2. So, punta na natin yung example number 5. So, example number 5 natin, we have 2x squared plus 5x is equal to 3. So, una natin gagawin, write the equation in standard form. So, that is 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. Pwede natin gamitin dito yung AC method. So, ang A natin is equal to 2. Your B is equal to 5. Your C is negative 3. So, using AC method, you need to multiply the values of A and C. 2 times 3 is negative 6. At dito naman yung ating B, which is 5. Ang gagawin natin dito, mag-iisip tayo ng factors ng negative 6 na kapag in natin is 5. 
So let's figure out the factors of negative 6. We have here negative 6. Since yung ating B is positive, kailangan mo okay bar yung sign natin. Try natin yung 1 times negative 6. Kapag in nyo to, that is negative 5. Hindi pwede. So, since 5, negative 5, ito ay 5. Mag magawin natin yung sign. Let's use negative 1 and 6. Pag in natin to, okay, this will give you 5. So, ang nalagay natin dito ay 6 and negative 1. So, ngayon, gamit yung AC method, copy natin yung first term, 2x squared. At ito, second term natin, 5x, ay expand natin gamit yung 6 and negative 1. That is, plus 6x. Ito, ginamit ko to Lagyan natin ng variable x. Ito naman, minus x minus 3 is equal to 0. I-regroup lang natin ito. This is 2x squared plus 6x plus negative x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, yung ating first group, ang kanyang common factors, common monomial factor is 2x. So, we have 2x times x plus 3. And for our second group, which is this one, ang common sa kanya ay negative sign. So, negative times positive, ito ngayon ay magiging negative na. Negative times x plus 3 is equal to 0. As you can see, common yung ano natin, yung x plus 3 natin. So, i-factor out natin, we have x plus 3 and then, mayroon tayo itong invisible 1. The other factor is 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Since sa factor out na natin, equate na natin yung ating factors by 0. That is x plus 3 is equal to 0. And then the other one is 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. To solve for the value of x, minus 3 lang tayo dito minus 3. So, your first root or your first value in x natin is simply negative 3. So, for the next value, mag tayo dito ng 1, both sides. So, we will have 2x is equal to 1. And divide both sides by 2. Finally, this is the second value of x, which is 1 over 2. Now, for example number 5, the roots of the equation or the roots of the quadratic equation are negative 3 and 1 half. So, I hope na nagets nyo yung ating topic today para sa video na to. And, kung meron kayong question about this topic, you can comment down below about your difficulty. So, again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat.